Art Basel and Kickstarter are sort of a match made in heaven. You have, on the one hand, uh, the world's leading uh, groundbreaking platform for crowdfunding and uh, sort of crowd awareness raising. On the other hand, you have the world's leading art fair platform, which uh, is all about bringing to life creative projects. So when Art Basel was looking to reach deeper into the nonprofit world, nonprofit ecology, which is so vital uh, to Art Basel and all the galleries and all the collectors and all the artists who are here, it was only natural that uh, it was a natural fit with Kickstarter. Art Basel and Kickstarter are working together to help bring more work to life that otherwise wouldn't exist. So we're engaging nonprofits from around the world who um, have uh, anything from a new exhibition, a publication, a residency program, a new garden that's live right now actually, um, who you know want to sort of go to the public and say, hey, we want to make this thing, you can be a part of it. We strongly believe that we are part of an ecosystem, and an important part of that ecosystem is the nonprofits. The nonprofits are, in a sense, one of the labs, the testing grounds for the art world. And if you don't have a lab or a testing ground, it's very hard to move forward. When I'm looking at the submissions for a possible inclusion on um, the Art Basel Kickstarter page, there's so many different layers. Visually, is it interesting? Does it contribute to the dialogue of society? What are the political implications? And I have to be honest, a lot of these criteria are subjective and personal, and it's just about my experience of over 20 years working in the art field, talking to other professionals, and um, this is a question we're always asking ourselves. The project we put forth on Kickstarter was to tell the largely unrecorded history of performance art from the Arab world. In the last seven years that Delfina Foundation has been operating, we've worked very closely with artists from the Middle East, North Africa and South Asia. And what we noticed during that period was that there was very little support for artists who had a more of a performative kind of practice. Our goal on Kickstarter was to raise £15,000 to kickstart the project itself. We were successful, we raised £17,000, which is um, incredible. And as a nonprofit organization, we're constantly looking for different ways to cultivate donors and to develop new ways of raising funds. And crowdfunding is just that. The Sculpture Center is a non-collecting museum in Long Island City. We commission and exhibit uh, underrepresented artists or underexposed artists, at least those artists that have not had a lot of exposure in New York. Our crowdfunding project was um, for a retrospective exhibition by Arya Raz Damrinsuk. We had a couple goals for our Kickstarter campaign. One was financial, to raise $12,000 to cover some of the expenses, and we met that goal, very exciting. Um, the other was to raise visibility for the project, and that, I think, was quite successful because when we look at the donors to the campaign, we know that 82% of them never donated to Sculpture Center before, and 40% of them have never been to Sculpture Center before, and anecdotally, just being around town when people ask me, you know, what's our next project? And I say, we're doing a retrospective of IRS Dombrunsuk. People say, oh yeah, I saw that on the Kickstarter. Whether they gave money to the project or not, I think there are a lot of people that know this exhibition is coming up now that wouldn't have known about it otherwise. The exhibition is called Welcome to the Future. And it is uh, thousands of objects contained in a 25 foot diameter trench that's been cut into the floor of the gallery. And when you walk up to this hole, you peer down inside of it and there are objects uh, from everyday life, things that you would recognize, but they're made out of volcanic ash and crystal, geological materials, um, things that make us think about time. It, it almost became a mirror for who we are as an organization. Lucas Projects has always prided itself on first and foremost supporting ambitious shows but it's also been about accessibility and community. And we were able to take that on a new platform with Kickstarter. We were able to reach an international platform, um, all of Art Basel's amazing followers, and uh, get our project out there in a way that's never happened before, and, and it worked. Donating is super easy. You go on Kickstarter, kickstarter.com slash artbasel. You'll see all the projects there. You can donate as little as a dollar or as much as you want. And um, whichever project piques your interest, they all offer rewards. Um, and some rewards are more tangible, some are more experience-based. So there's really an opportunity for a lot of people to get involved and engage with the projects at every level.